most of the brain tumor surgeries include large openings of the scalp and the skull so as to see the anatomy around the lesion to make sure that you are not missing the lesion but with the latest advance advances like the navigation and the endoscopes we can actually reduce the size of the incisions reduce the size of opening of the skull so that your access to the lesion becomes smaller and the advantage of, uh, the biggest advantage that you get is that the patient's uh, comfort level is much better the patient gets back to normal routine faster now there are multiple ways of doing this for example there are incisions that can, that can be done on the eyebrow small ones 3 4 cm incision or on the scalp which are about 3 4 cm instead of making large openings and then access to the lesion uh, via uh, small corridors so that you can clip or uh, remove uh, the an aneurysms or remove the tumors with ease but the critical part of this of these uh, techniques is the technology the navigation for example navigation is something like the gps that we use for the foot, which you can pin uh, the triangulate the the instruments or the lesion to a, to the to a millimeter precision so they don't have to wander around in the brain to, to reach the lesion and that makes the sur surgery easier sur the comfort level for the patient also easier the other technology that can be used for minimally invasive access is endoscope for example for lesions which are contained within the ventricles the lesions uh, that can be ac accessed earlier using large craniotomies can be accessed using a small bur holes what 1 cm 1.5 cm holes in this skull and using the endoscope you can get in and take out the lesion now the the advantage as i said earlier is you see less number of hospital stays the comfort level the patient gets and the earlier discharge and the earlier return to life selection of cases for these techniques are very critically important there are certain criteria based on which we decide whether the patient requests a full open surgery or if the patient can undergo a, uh, a minimally invasive surgery another way of doing a, a minimally invasive surgery is through natural corridors like the nose you can actually go through the nose using an endoscope to remove the lesions from the base of the skull the lesions from the uh, base of the skull can be removed minimally invasively there are no incisions in these cases